Rain is in the forecast through the night here at Hubert Jack Stadium in windswept Blockhaven, Pennsylvania. But it won't keep a damper on tonight's matchup as the California Vulcans visit the Lockhaven University to challenge the winless Bald Eagles in a PSAC West matchup. Good evening, everyone. My name is Will Moore. Alongside me is Clinton Logan. And Clint, tonight, there seems to be this stuff falling from the sky. Precipitation, what is it? Now it's going to be first and five for Burke, and he's going to drop back, fire to the right side. He's got his man, and he is in for the touchdown. Lockhaven gets on the board, something they couldn't do last year in the entire matchup with the Vulcans. They come out and do it on the very first drive. What a play. Jesse Hoover pulling that one in. What a drive, a great drive there by Burkett as he led it with those short little receptions. He let his receivers do the work. And as it shows up on the scoreboard, wow, just what a drive there and what a series of events after the turnover. One will be Noah Heimer. His kick is away and that's gonna be blocked. The Vulcans will scoop it up and go in the other way with it. Go the Vulcans, look at this. Number 26 for the Vulcans, that's Robbie Green. And he's gonna take it all the way back to the Vulcans end zone. How about that play? What an, I don't even know what to say on that one. I don't think I've <laughs> ever seen that before. That's the first time I've seen it on that. What a play there, as it was just bouncing around a little bit. You'll see it on our replay here. It was immediately blocked. Not sure who right there. That was number 61 of Cal. That was Mulaba who originally came up with the block, I believe. But it gives California two points on the board on that one. So if you're California, at least you got some points out of that one. I'll tell you what, maybe not as bad of a drive as you would think on the defensive side of things here for the Vulcans. Cody Cook will remain in the game as the running back. It's going to be a reverse to Mayo. Mayo up the left side, and he's going to point at the defender as he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Vulcans. A little bit of trickery from California as Thomas Mayo scores the touchdown himself and the Vulcans reclaim the lead in this one. And Mayo wasn't going to be held touchdownless in this game. Even if he had to do it on the ground, doesn't even have to get the touchdown through the air. He points his way into the end zone and gives California the lead here in this game, pending this extra point. It'll be Lollick handing it off. That's going to be Lamont Smith up the middle and Lamont Smith is gone. Touchdown, California. He cut through the defense like Swiss cheese there, right up the middle. I'm not even sure he was touched. Lamont Smith, how fast was he on that one? Immediate finds a hole there, and he was just off to the races, completely untouched. Not wearing his rain boots today, he's got his flyers on, and Lamont Smith trots his way into the end zone on that one, gives California a 15 to six lead here early in the second quarter. First and goal from the three yard line for the Vulcans. It's gonna be a handoff up the middle. And it is in for a touchdown. That's Fort Knox picking up another touchdown. As Jeff Knox picks up a big touchdown up the middle. And he's been used as a goal line back, and he's had success. He has. He's done great as that uh, goal line back, as you say. Up as the running back for California. First down, and Burkett's going to complete this pass to the left side. No, he's not. It's incomplete. Uh, it looks like it uh, It might be a live ball. The Vulcans are claiming they've got it. You know, that might have been a lateral. I do believe it was. He tried passing it off to the left side, but it was behind where he had thrown it. It was intended for number seven, Jay Hartman. We're going to take a look here. I believe the call on the field is California ball. And it is. Let's take a look at this replay here. Will, and see if it is a backer pass. Yeah. yeah, that definitely is. That is a live ball there. Rontes Good job by Miles. Rontez getting in quick there. And trying to see who it was for California who got it. Not sure who exactly got that ball. The outside edge of the red zone is Lamont, or is uh, Lollick will drop back and he's gonna fire. Caught, touchdown. Pretty sure we're used to seeing that one, Will. Thomas Mayo, he's able to get past two defenders there. Lollick knew it was gonna happen. He airs it up. Mayo brings it down and there's the first reception for uh, well, I'm sorry, the third reception there for Mayo, but his first touchdown in this game through the air. The Vulcan faithful starting to make some noise from the edge of the stadium as we're gonna have a complete spin around and Patrick Swearinger almost gets another interception. You see him swagging his way across the end zone, but the spin around did not fool Patrick Swearinger. Patrick Swearinger, very strong. You're gonna see on the replay here, kind of just cuts around, steps in front of it, and you see his little Swearinger shuffle there as he walks across. 
breaking up the pass. A great job there on second down. And a big third down here for Lockhaven. That way is on third and goal from the two. It's going to be Burkett dropping back, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. Vulcans getting in there. Patrick Swearinger, who else? Coming in there and breaking up the play. Swearinger, what can you say about him on this drive? He has shown his stuff. That man is electric, and even with the rain out there, he is not shortening out. Patrick Swearinger is just going crazy out there, jumping in front of every pass, knocking every pass down. It'll be Burkett under center. Three wide receivers bunched to the left. Burkett's going to step up in the pocket. He's going to fire, and that's going to be all in. Touchdown, Lockhaven. And a clutch reception will give. Oh, you know what? It might, How about this? I, you know, I want to try and see the replay oh, yeah. and when we come up to it. But it kind of looked, it kind of looked like he caught it. I thought he came out on in the end zone. I believe it was number 14 on the reception, Eddie Selkos. But California stormed off the field and cheering like they broke up the pass. I'm not sure what the call is here. We're going to have to hear it from the referees. A very interesting series of events on that one. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see there's the pass right there. See who's coming down. I think that's a touchdown there. It has to be. It looks like California just ripped it out maybe as he was already down on the ground. And that is the call. They are going to roll it a touchdown. Will, you have to say the referees got it right on that one. Look. As on sec, it'll be second and 10 from the 22 yard line. Five and a half seconds remain in the first half. Lollick steps back, steps up into it, and there's Thomas Mayo. Touchdown with, as time expires, Thomas Mayo hauls it in. 22 yards through the air. How about that? How about that, indeed? I feel bad there for Marcus Steele. He had to go single coverage there. He was completely responsible for Mayo there. And Mayo just broke out. Mayo wide open there in the end zone. Who else are you going to go to there when you need a touchdown late in the second quarter? Tedrick Terry in the slot. Mike Williams on the far side. He's going to hand it off, though, to Lamont Smith. And Smith's got room. Touchdown. Lamont Smith, you see him sidle his way through the defense. And he puts up a big touchdown, a 21-yard carry for the score. Smith is having himself quite a day out there today. You said the personal fouls, personal fouls are avoidable. What's not avoidable is Lamont Smith. You can't stop the guy right now. It's the California Vulcans will improve to 4-1, 2-0 in the PSAC West. The Lock Haven Bald Eagles will fall to 0-4 overall, 0-2 in the PSAC West. And for all of us here at CUTV Sports, we'd like to thank you for tuning in tonight on CUTV as well as the America One Network. We'd like to thank our crew as well for bearing with us out in the wind and rain. But for Clinton Logan, my name is Will Moore. And we'll see you next time.